So I didn't realize there was such a huge difference between cast acrylic and plexiglass. I have been doing a lot of test cuts on the Thunder Laser and it was cutting amazingly well. And then I grabbed some scraps thinking they were cast acrylic, put it in the laser, started doing cuts and all of a sudden all the cuts were melting and not going through all the way. Started trying to debug the process, trying to figure out what I was doing wrong. Fortunately, the customer service at Thunder Laser is amazing. They were very responsive in getting back to me and we had a great conversation. We started sending some tests back and forth. And towards the end of the day, I realized I was using the wrong material. I was using plexiglass and the results were really, really bad. It wasn't cutting all the way through. I was getting all sorts of melting. These are all test patterns done through Lightburn. And eventually they helped me realize that I was using the completely wrong material and I needed to start using cast acrylic instead. Uh, so as soon as I put some of this back in the laser, it, it was working perfectly and it was cutting all the way through really thick pieces of like quarter inch cast acrylic. So if you're having any issues with your laser and the materials that you're using, don't be like me. <laughs> Make sure that you're actually using like high quality, good cast acrylic and your results will be much better. Speaking of which, Thunder Laser actually sells cast acrylic through their website and I found a lot of the pieces there are actually cheaper than what I was finding on Amazon. So if you're looking for cast acrylic for your Thunder Laser or other laser, uh, definitely check out their websites. I ordered a huge batch, should be here in a few days for our next project. And I even ordered some fluorescent reactive uh, cast acrylic, which I'm really excited about using on our desk project. Big thanks to Thunder Laser for all the help. Uh, thank you folks for having such great customer service.